Hello everyone and welcome to my unboxing for the Mobile Fighter G Gundam Ultra Edition. This is pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. Been pretty excited for this. Um, big fan of G Gundam as it originally aired back in the day. Uh, first Gundam, the thing that kind of got me into Gundam. Uh, if we're talking long term here, I you know it was the thing I watched as a kid and then got older and I kind of rediscovered it. And uh, honestly, this this might be the TV show I've rewatched the most in my life. Like every few years, I come back to this, so I'm really excited to finally be able to go back and watch this in actual Blu-ray quality. Um, so as soon as this Ultra Edition, uh, Right Stuff exclusive, as soon as it uh, came out. Or, you know, they, they announced the uh, pre-orders and stuff were live for it. I, I just pre-ordered it day one. I knew that I would want this. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, you've seen the art and stuff on the sides. And then you... Let me just get the light to hit it. You can kind of see that there's like an outline of uh, Domo in there. You can't really see it well on the um, video. I don't think you can kind of just see the shadow of it. But it, it shines in the light pretty good. Same with... Uh, Master Asia on the side there and actually hold on because my camera's running out of batteries <laughs> and we're back Sorry about that folks. Remember always check your batteries before you <laughs> Before you start recording anyways, so why don't we take this out here and actually before we take it out uh, Let me scoot on back here. Sorry with how I have my setup. I uh, Have to kind of lean in forward to interact with the box uh, this Let's see if I can get both in here. This is the Gundam 00 uh, Ultra Edition that they put out earlier in the year. And they're about the same size as you can see. If I can get them, the, the G Gundam box is a little bit wider. Though it does look like, well actually here, if we put it like this. Yeah, just in general it looks like the G Gundam box is just a little bit larger than uh, the 00. Ultra Edition, so you know if you're like me and you're getting a bunch of these uh, That's kind of just how it's gonna look on the shelf. This is a little bit thicker um, Which you know, hopefully means comes with larger things I actually think this was a uh, cheaper. I, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I'll link to the store page down below So we're gonna open it up here, and we're gonna get even cooler art kind of from towards the end of the series there and uh, on the side, you get art of all of this, and it even kind of goes over and onto the side there, or up, up top there, rather. And then, of course, everything is stored right in there, and that's just the same little, you know, outline of Domo, and it's the same side as here. Nothing inside this box, just pure black. So let's just take out these Blu-rays first. Everything's in there pretty snug. So actually, yeah, let's just take it all out like this. So we got the Blu-rays. It's all 100, or sorry, 100. It's all 49 episodes of the series. So we got season one, well, I guess part one, they weren't really seasons, they just kind of all aired in order. And then part two with Rain and Alan be there. So the other thing we got is this cool art book, actually. It looks pretty neat. Let's just open to a random page. And actually, I kind of have the same problem with this art book that I have with the... Um, with the uh, 00 Ultra Edition, and that it's just... It's so many pages, and with the hardcover binding, it, it kind of feels like it's kind of stressing the binding a bit when you open it up so I wouldn't open this up all the way just to be safe but yeah it's um it's pretty cool all things considered I I do enjoy how much actual meaty content and commentary we're getting in this uh, and just the the illustrations all look really high quality which is nice all right sorry about that awkward cut my uh, camera's backup battery has started to die out on me so fuck me for not being prepared but i digress anyways so going back to this book um it does also include like information on like model kits and stuff different merch this is like a very comprehensive book has some interviews in the back and everything um 
really really good stuff so like i said it's just kind of a shame about the the binding like you can you can hear it stretch when you when you um really start to open it up just because of just how much they packed in here so that's a little unfortunate but overall pretty good book then uh we got all of the extras included oh got that upside down Oh, well, I guess I didn't. It's just Alan B's upside down in that <laughs> in that uh, picture there. So, let's see what we all got in here. Ooh, pretty snug. All right, so we're starting out strong with the art cards. Now, see, what's cool about this one in particular is that you could, like go around to people in bars and be like, hey, you over there, have you seen this guy? And, like, weird people out, and it'll be great. You'll be just like Domon. Got a good cast photo there. Nothing on the back, really, just the Sunrise logo in the corner. Oh, oh okay, that's pretty cool, actually. In the back of this one, you get the, the uh, little line representing the tear. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um... Master Asia and uh, Domon doing their kick and punch pose probably prepared to uh, free themselves from their skyscraper toppled over prison. And actually, let's look on the back. Okay, yeah, so on the back here we have the, the four members of the Shuffle Alliance. And then we got some Gundam art here. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. And then we have patches, so we have all of the different patches for all of the Shuffle Alliance members, which is also pretty cool. I'm digging these. I'm not really much of a patch person, to be honest, but it's just kind of nice to have these included. I think they look pretty cool. They, they feel pretty high quality. Uh, I'm not going to probably take this out. Eh, I might as well. It's an unboxing video. I don't have much uh, plan for this, but... Uh, this is the uh, Domon Kashu official headband. It's actually in there pretty good. There we go, got it out. Yeah, it's just a, you know, honestly just feels like a strand of red ribbon. It's a, it's a headband, I suppose. Um, if you want to cosplay Domon, that's a thing, I guess. I have no use for this, to be honest. And then you also got this lanyard, which unfortunately, because of just the lighting situation I'm in uh, and the camera I'm using, it's not picking up really well. But there's just like a lineup of Gundam art uh, from throughout the series on the lanyard, just going all the way across. Uh, it looks neat, but also I'm not much of a lanyard person either, so probably not going to ever use this. And then last but not least, we have the Tequila Gundam shot glass, which is honestly very... Very nice of uh, right stuff to include in the Ultra Edition that they're releasing before their Gundam Seed Ultra Edition because you're going to need some alcohol to get through that series. Overall, really digging the Ultra Edition, um, I have to say. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm normally not much of a patch person, but I actually really like those. Uh, the art cards are always nice in each of these Ultra Editions that they release, so I really love those. Art book is great. Once again, kind of maybe a little iffy on the binding there, but it seems sturdy enough to hold together. Uh, I flipped through it some more. And um, just in general, I really love what they've done with the packaging. Uh, the shot glass is great. Uh, really just not a fan of the lanyard and the headband is, is really just a red ribbon. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I really enjoy this. I'd say, you know, part of it is just the fact that it's one of my favorite series, but this is definitely the uh, Gundam Ultra Edition, right? Stuff is put out that... I think I've gotten the most uh, value out of, personally. I, I really enjoy this. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave a link down below, and uh, feel free to ask me any questions uh, if you have any. But I uh, really highly recommend this if you're like me and you really love the series. If you, know, if, you're, if you haven't seen the series, I maybe would not recommend this, just because there are a lot of people nowadays that do try to check this out, and it's not really for them. Uh, but if you're like me and you really like the series and you, you, know, you don't have it, uh, you know, in DVD form or whatever, uh, this is a good way to pick it up. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.